right, and we have another video here. Um, we are, as as anybody that's watched many of my videos know, rabbits um, consist, one of our major feed sources for rabbits is kudzu. And since I've been driving a truck for the last several years, it's been hard to really do much with it. But now that I'm retired or semi-retired, we are... Uh, we are setting up it. We've set up again a, uh, a pile of kudzu for uh, feeding our rabbits until the wheat comes in. And uh, there's, a, with any luck, there'll be some crossover where the, we're feeding, starting to feed some wheat, and uh, the kudzu's still doing. Um, the rabbits are doing very nicely on the kudzu still. Um, they make a bit. Of, they make more mess with this than they do with some other things that we feed, but. Uh, it's a very high protein source and they they really enjoy the leaves so uh, just uh, another video and uh, the uh, this is set up we got some metal grates here uh, hopefully you can see them and we got them sitting on top of bricks and uh, my dogs I got two of my dogs are rather small so they get up under there chasing after the rats and the rats don't get into it too badly and like I said, we've done this before. We've done it a couple of times pretty pretty heavily. Um, one year we had a super fantastic crop of uh, sweet potatoes. And we uh, we put up a bunch of the sweet potatoes. <laughs> we originally started just dumping them in the compost. And then when they didn't wilt down that fast, we uh, we started feeding them the rabbits. And the rabbits were like, yeah, this is good. They, they actually preferred the sweet potatoes to the... Uh, to my wife's drew some artichokes, um, which they like a lot as well. So anyway, just a, a video on uh, feeding our rabbits this winter and uh, things you can do. Um, so you can just put this down as part of the, the series on that. So if you enjoy this sort of thing, I would ask you to subscribe. And thanks for watching.